welcome back everybody this is joshua i'm going to do some code today and today we'll be doing a different code am i right we'll be doing a different code and uh, if you didn't see my last video just go check out i got a few more videos so in the previous video i was telling i was doing the pong game like i completed it but um i was telling in the previous video like in the previous video i was telling that um i would do a special game am i right i would do a special game am i right um that special game is like um it's called the t-rex runner so this is the game we're going like in the end so this is the game we want to happen like clouds just marching over see that yeah you want that reset button to happen so that's what is going to happen in this game we're going to do that so it's am i right this game it's kind of pretty cool but i am not sure whether i'm good at this have like I'm, i mean not the good good it's good but i'm telling you okay about the game game over literally game over okay guys um i'll be doing the code so first you want your t-rex am i right t-rex mm, wait one minute we go to the sprite toolbox then put it all there then just write t-rex after you write t-rex then you set animation so i have already taken the up the animations so these are the animations for the t-rex like there are four types one is while it's running it's running and this is the time where it jumps <laughs> it jumps actually so this ground is like um i don't know i'm not sure but still it's a ground like it you use it to move and then you use ground to and then you use the clouds am i right that's what you do and so let's do the sprite as t-rex then t-rex the t-rex or is the spelling for it t-rex just copy it and then let's just paste it again same t-rex okay run do we have a t-rex okay we don't have a t-rex but still i can make it happen so just need to add what is that the function go to the function put the function and then just use the draw sprites okay you put the draw sprites now you reset and it runs wow you got a t-rex okay you don't want that kind of t-rex just running okay well, now what i'm gonna do is like um you're going to you're gonna make it like a um, bit small like somewhat like 0.5 so let's put t-rex dot sorry dot scale equals 0.5 Okay, our T-Rex is in perfect position. We just want it uh, to be somewhere right here, fifty three fifty. Okay, three fifty. Then just put fifty. So very certain. Oh yay! Our T-Rex is there. Okay, okay guys, we got our T-Rex in position. now you want the ground basically okay guys so i've done it just going to add a bit so this is the ground as normal i've just put it as ground 2 there'll be this thingy like invisible ground so, i mean not now i'm now i'm now i'm, go I'm just going to change put it to 50 
okay uh, ground has popped up but this one they say that it should be 80 and you can collide oh my god i don't want 80 it's too colliding too much of collide oh, it's 70 ah now it's colliding properly it's still nice so we finished the ground we've done it you want the ground to move and you want key down space then you jump am i right that's what you do so that's the that's the main part and if uh like in this video i'll be just doing the ground features and making it move and stuff but in the next video i'll be doing about the obstacles so just gonna do it okay guys i've done the invisible ground so and um so let's reset reset it again. whoa that's the invisible ground okay you don't you want your invisible ground to be invisible <laughs> so i'm just gonna do and copy then just paste it dot invisible dot um invisible ground equals false is it correct invisible ground equals false whoa it didn't still okay guys i got i got i got i knew it why it's not working because i have to put visible visible equals false so reset run it's it's not visible am i right it's not visible it looks normal okay now what we're gonna do is like we're going to make it move okay guys i've done the code for it so that i can um so that like so now i'm just gonna reset and run whoa so you see the t-rex is running am i right because I put T-Rex velocity y is equals to T-Rex velocity y plus 3. So every time uh, like you are adding gravity. So see, I added gravity as 3. So whenever it's jumping, it should. So whenever it's like jumping. So if this function wasn't there, am I right? Like I'm just going to fix this off. So if this function wasn't there. Wait one minute. So it wouldn't have jumped at all. So what? Okay. What if, if this function also wasn't there, then, so let's reset run. See, it's gone up flying. It never come back, mostly. Okay, it's never coming back. So then, so that is why I put this velocity so that it won't work, so that it won't go flying like that. You don't want your DX to go flying. You want to just go jump over the obstacles. Am I right? So now you want clouds. Am I right? You want clouds. Because the main thing, the background is all about clouds because that is the one which is going to take care about the background. So I'm going to do the clouds. So the clouds are pretty simple. You have to just do a function for them. It's not that tough, but I'm just going to do it as now. Okay, guys, I've done the code. Like, um, I've done, like, you know, this and all I've done, but this is the code which I've done. This is the code which I've done, like, world.com frame. So, every 60 frames, the, cl the cloud will keep on spawning, spawning, spawning. Okay, so, like, so while it reaches the end, like every 60 frames it will just keep on coming 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 oh, am i right so that's what will happen and the velocity will be minus six because um, we have put a negative value so that it can go forever so that is what we have done so it never comes to zero and um, like the numbers won't come to zero 
So cloud.set animation is like I've done the cloud.set animation. Then cloud.y random number is like it randomly randomly come at this place. Instead of 300 and 250, why don't we put 300 and 300-200 is okay, am I right? Like 300-200 between that. Okay, console dot log cloud dot depth. Depth means like how much? So cloud depth is equals to T-Rex depth, and T-Rex depth is equals to T-Rex depth plus one. So that's the thing. So let's try. Is the clouds appearing? Yay! The clouds are appearing every 60 frames. Okay, guys. You know why did I even put this depth thing? Because uh, I put this like console dot log depth thing because I missed. Because if I reset and run now, okay, the clouds are appearing. Okay, let's let's go try. See, there's one cloud. See, I'm going like the T-Rex is going back of the cloud. Am I right? So you don't want your T-Rex to go back of the cloud. Am I right? Your T-Rex is not going to be like a cloud or something. So, to do that, what I've done is like, I've just put this console.log cloud.depth so that the T-Rex will be in front of the, just, it'll be just in front of the clouds. So, that's the main thing. That's why I've done it. Also, why would I even do it? <laughs> okay, let's reset run. Oh yeah, man, it's going in high speed, high speed, it's got a lot of high speed. Okay, okay, thank you for watching this video and see you next time, see you next time guys. Next video I'll be doing the same, same video. Bye!